A life lost too soon. That thought resonating through a crowd of family and friends in San Marcos tonight as they honor a young woman gunned down near her school, the University of North Texas, on New Year's Day. 20-year-old Sarah Muchlechner grew up in Martindale. She was driving a group of friends home from a party when Denton police say she was shot and killed by a U.S. Marine, Eric Johnson. He was arrested Monday in Arizona and today waived extradition to Texas. But today was about saying goodbye to Sarah following a funeral tonight, a vigil at San Marcos High School. KXAN's David Scott was there as people came to honor Sarah's memory. Sarah Much Lechner never made it to her 21st birthday, barely made it into the new year. But her spirit made it back here where she was known, loved, and remembered. This is a beautiful thing tonight. And I they lit candles, swapped stories, shared laughter and tears, prayers and poetry. Do not stand at my grave and weep. I am not there, I do not sleep. I am a thousand winds that blow. I am the diamond glints on snow. I am the sun on ripened grain. I am the gentle autumn rain. Sarah loved band, stage, taekwondo, movies and people. Lots of people. I can't think of any better uh, way to remember her than a candlelight vigil and, um, you know, and all the memories we're all remembering together. And I know that from up above, Sarah can see that light. Oh, she sees it all right. And she must like what she sees. Her friends think so. She is thinking that it is so beautiful to see how many people are showing up and how she's probably upset that she's not here to talk to every single one of us. Sarah was pursuing a career in film or TV. Well, she made it onto TV this week as one of the first sad tragedies of the new year. In San Marcos, I'm David Scott, KXAN News. We well, wanted to know more about the man arrested in Sarah's killing. The Marine Corps says that Corporal Eric Jamal Johnson is assigned to the Marine Aviation Weapons and Tactics Squadron 1. He joined the Marines back in the summer of 2013. However, he is an administrative specialist and has never been deployed overseas.